All right, boys, have a seat. We need to talk about two two big signings for Chelsea that I think are still going to happen, even though we're going to spend a lot, a lot of cash for these players. So stick around as we dive deeper into this. For those that don't know who I am, my name is Mike, huge fan of the best team in the world and London, which happens to be Chelsea. If you agree with that, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that. Now we're talking about two players that I think Chelsea are overspending for this transfer window. But again, I know I mentioned this before, this is for future seasons coming up, not just the first season right now going on this season, but again, for future seasons. And those two players have to be Gordon and Fofana. Let's talk about Gordon first. Now, Chelsea just submitted another offer for this player at Everton, 60 million. Now that's 50 plus 10 million add-ons, which again, I think is way, way too much for a player. Yes, I know, like I said, this is for future seasons, but to pay this much for a player right now just seems way too much. Yes, I know he's pretty high up there for Everton, and I think Thomas Tuchel really likes his worth ethics, the way he runs around the field and everything, possibly wants to put him as a right wing back. I don't know, that seems what Thomas Tuchel wants to do with every single player that we get. But again, he could play as our striker, even though he's not an out and out striker right now, even though he's doing that for Everton, but that's because DCL is out with an injury, so they don't really have anyone else who can throw up there. So they've been throwing Gordon there, and it's what we've been doing with Kai Havertz at Chelsea. So the fact that we're trying to spend $60 million for a player that really does what Kai Havertz does seems a bit too much, but again, maybe there's something else that Thomas Tuchel sees in this player, and that maybe I don't, and maybe the fans themselves don't see, but again, I think 50 should be the pretty much ceiling for this player. We shouldn't go any higher than that. So maybe, maybe Frank Lampard can help Chelsea out one more time and deny this and say, no, he's not for sale and therefore wait another season or another transfer window. And hopefully that price comes down. But again, we will see. It seems that Thomas Tuchel's really high on this player and wanting to get him before the end of this transfer window. Now, the other player though is Wesley Fofana at Leicester. Now it looks like they put another bid in for about 80 million, which was denied again. And so I think Chelsea are trying to work around with this with some add-ons. I don't know exactly what the final total is going to be because I don't think they want to go past 80 and put all this pressure on Fofana. But again, being such a young player, plays one of the best positions at Leicester. So again, obviously Leicester do not want to get rid of this player, but still this is another future player that Chelsea see fitting into the role for Thiago. So Koulibaly, any of these players, again, as they start aging, Fofana can step into that. Even right away, he could probably step into it, minus Thiago Silva, because again, he's such an intelligent player, so pacey. Again, he does so much better than all our other defenders, minus Thiago Silva, maybe Koulibaly, even though after watching him against Leeds United, it does question his mentality, but again, it does happen where you all of a sudden you start losing your cool. After being down 3-0, anything can happen. But still, Wesley Fofana is still on the radar as well for Chelsea and Thomas Tuchel. And this is the one that does make a little more sense because our back line is aging. So again, we do need more defenders to step up. Yes, we have Trevor Chalaba, who obviously has not played yet this season. And therefore, I think he deserves some time to be starting. And he may start because now with Koulibaly having that red card does offer that opportunity. As Phil Coita, who knows, maybe step in as well, but we will see. But Wesley Fofana is a better signing right now, in my opinion, because we do need more defenders. Do we need Gordon right now? No, but again, he does fit into Thomas Tuchel's system, and I know Thomas Tuchel wants him. And yes, it would be a good signing to get both players, but again, if we do that, we're spending right around $150 million this transfer window for just these two players who, again, are not even going to be starting right off the bat for this club. So spending that much for two players that won't be in their starting 11 seems ridiculous. Yes, I know future-wise this does make sense, but still... I'm kind of questioning this transfer for these two players. So I want to know what you guys think. So comment down below if you think these are two good transfer windows or players for us in this window, or you think we should move on to some other players that possibly could still come to Chelsea before the end of this window. So that is it. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that. And I will see you next time.